Hello. In this demo, I will demonstrate the new Update Revision 3D Experience widget, which we have developed at XLM Solutions Lab uh, for on-premise implementations. This widget allows users to uprev a new drawing or document to a later revision instead of starting from the first revision in the uh, revision sequence. A couple scenarios in which our clients use the widget uh, is A, existing legacy revisions outside of 3D experience, or in cases where when working with uh, clients or OEM uh, who uh, sometimes dictate the deliverables uh, revision, such as drawing, uh, et cetera. Uh, the widget uh, also supports all Power BI mechanical CAD integrations, as well as CATIA 3D experience, uh, with one minor uh, difference or limitation uh, in the case of CATIA uh, 3D experience. So uh, let's jump straight into the demo. Switching to SolidWorks, uh, you can see that there's a uh, drawing, a new drawing. It's not yet saved uh, into 3D experience. So let's go ahead and save it. Okay, and now the drawing has been saved and both the drawing and the model are in revision A. Uh, to update the revision, the user can either open the normal web UI dashboard or from the my session within the uh, connector. Uh, you can see I uh, added the uh, new widget into the uh, uh, my favorites. So by clicking on the update revision widget, it launches the web UI in a uh, standalone mode. The user can then simply search for the drawing. This is our drawing and drag and drop it to the widget. Once the widget is identified, the revision are configurable and the user can switch revision. I'll pick revision B. Upon clicking OK, we get a confirmation that the revision has been modified. Notice that this is the standalone, which was open from the SolidWorks My Session part of the uh, inside the uh, connector. You can always open your dashboard from the UI and launch the widget from your favorite apps as well. In addition, the widget can be pinned like any other widget into a dashboard, and then the user can simply drag and drop into the widget from one widget to another. So you can see that the widget is, is operating like any other widget in 3D experience. However, <clears throat> And it, as you can see, the revision is still uh, showing as A. We have to refresh the revision from the server. To do that, we right click and reload from server, which would refresh the information in the connector panel, 3D experience panel. And as you can see, the revision now shows as B. It is important that you do this step as a first step before making any changes to the drawing itself because the reload from server may overwrite those changes. And so the process should be save the drawing, launch the widget, modify the revision, reload from server, and continue your work. To summarize, I've shown you the update revision widget for on-premise 3DX implementations. The key business cases or scenarios are 
legacy existing legacy revisions or working with OEM are the customers who dictate the deliverables revisions. The key features is a allowing updating the object revision, uh, configurable types uh, such as drawing documents, etc. Built-in validation to ensure that this is a new object in an in-work state and that there are no other existing revisions for this object. Uh, the widget can be launched from within the compass, within the connector, or from the dashboard in the web user interface. It supports all the UPS um, um, Power by Mechanical CAD um, connectors as well as CATIA 3D experience uh, with a minor uh, limitation. If you need a tool to modify revisions or any other 3DX widget, uh, please, please reach out to us at info at xlmsolution.com. Thank you.